getting more snow today. Fun day to be delivering groceries. Hello everyone. Guess what? It snowed again. Not not a whole lot, but I bet we got three three inches or so. So it's not too bad. The wind's been blowing a bit, so we got some drifts again. Uh, I'm just getting home from work. It's about five o'clock now, and I just got home, so it's a little bit longer of a day. Our trailers weren't late this morning, so I, I was up. I was up to Afton by four this morning. It's kind of a bigger day for my route. So what I got to do tonight is I got the I got the backhoe running, and I got the green Deutz running there across on the other side of the machine shed. So we're gonna hook up to this flatbed trailer with that green tractor, and I'm gonna use the the backhoe. We're gonna load up probably about seven, seven of those three by threes. Is what I'm figuring. I like using the backhoe to load with because it's got the those forks on the front, so I can I can pick up three of those three by threes at a time if I want. So I need to get this this trailer cleaned off, scrape all that snow off, and so I can load them bales up. And while these uh, while these tractors are warming up, I'll take care of our chickens, get them some more food. Seems like they've been eating a lot of food the last couple days. But it, ha it has been pretty cold though. Yesterday, well, so yesterday, yesterday morning, we were at 20 below. Then today, it warmed up to about 25, 30 degrees and it snowed on us. So that's a pretty good temperature change there, temperature swing. That's, yeah, you know, almost 50 degrees. And uh, I think that cold just makes everything want to eat more. The cows eat more when it's cold. The chickens seem to eat more when it's cold. And we got all these birds there. I think they go in there and eat all the chickens' food too. So I'm get them fed, and make sure they're good to go tonight. And once I'm done with that, all the, the tractors should be warmed up and we'll get loaded up and head down to the river, feed our cows and check on our calves. See if we got any new calves. Like I, I bet we do. After looking at a couple of those cows the last couple of days, they're looking pretty close. And uh, so we'll go down there and check on them and get them fed. So I'm gonna get this trailer cleaned off and the chickens fed and we'll see you guys down on the river. We got a bag full of goodies for the chickens today. They all seem pretty excited about it. Piper, this isn't for you. Get out. Good girl. Okay, I got, well, what do I got there? Five bales? I got five bales loaded up. I'm grabbing my last two now. So grab my last two bales and that'll make, that'll make seven. So we'll go down and go down seven bales and feed our cows. Sorry, it's kind of hard to do this and hold the phone at the same time. Uh, 
had to stop and open the gate. I just wanted to show you the edge of our road there. It's not looking so beautiful anymore. Makes me a little bit sad, but we're just gonna have to deal with it. I forgot to tell you guys too, I was, I was reading an article the other day about the ski resort up there in Jackson Hole, there at Teton Village. And they were saying that this month is in the top five snowiest months of all time. And I think the records went back to 1975, I believe is what they said. So I'm not just whining a lot about the snow. It really has been a pretty snowy month for us. I think everybody's over it. I'm sure these ladies are over it too. Well, we made it down here, so we'll run over there and get them, these cows fed. They seem a little bit hungry. We'll go check on our calves and see if we got any new ones. So we'll see you over at the feeders. calves are still running around over here by the feeder there's a beef yeah they're hungry so I wanted to show you guys the comparison real quick so this big red baldy faced steer is a yearling compared to the newborn calves there so that's how much they'll grow in a year so that the little calves compared to that red baldy faced calf uh, steer Thought that was kind of interesting. Wanted to show you the guys the calves real quick before it got too dark. So we got through right here. So same thing comparison wise. So this big black brockle faced one. So that's a yearling steer. This is a newborn calf. So that's a that's a good size comparison there. So that's what a year will put on these cal these calves. So in a year, it look just like that one. Got a couple more calves running around over here. So we got, yeah, we got, we got three more right there, and our three right here. He's just smelling, a, smelling that calf. So like I said, this one right here, number two, he's the one that we had in the bathtub. He's doing good. We got number one, so our first calf here. Number four. So that must mean three, five, and six are over there. We'll wander over there real quick and have a look at them. So that's our other steer. So him compared to them calves. One year. So we got our three other calves right here. Everybody seems to be doing good. This is the one I was kind of worried about the other night, number five, but he's he's doing good. Seems like he's alert and just chewing, chewing away. All right, let's get our done with our feeding and start heading home I'm off tomorrow so luckily I'll be able to come back down and check on him in the morning Piper's found something she's digging up it's probably poop what are you digging there Piper what do you got 
Yeah, it looks kind of like poop, doesn't it? Huh. All right, let's get done. It got dark on us pretty quick, but we're all done. I got the feeders filled up full of hay and uh, we're hooked back up to the flatbed. The dogs are loaded up and uh, no new calves tonight. Like I said, I'll be back down here tomorrow and we'll check on them again and see if we got anything new tomorrow. So we'll say bye to the calves tonight. What's this one, number five, I believe? It's number five? I don't know, that's number three. I like this one. So see how her face isn't all white? So that's what you'd call a brockle faced calf. If, it, if the face was all white, you'd call it a baldy faced. Anyway. Let's get going. I'm ready to go home, have some dinner. Hello everyone. I hope I was able to give you a good visual on the, the size difference between these newborn calves that we're having compared to these yearling steers that we have down there on the river. And uh, I just wanted to add a little bit extra to that, this video and give you guys some numbers. Because I'm a numbers guy and I like seeing numbers. And so I've been doing a little bit of research on how calves grow and the weight, how much weight they gain and whatnot. And so these numbers that I found are pretty generalized because there's close to a thousand different breeds of cattle in the world. And each breed of cattle has different, you know, characteristics. Um, so I had Lindsay write this, write some of these numbers out for me because she's got a lot better handwriting than I do. And so these newborn calves that we have that are being born down there on the river, they'll weigh pretty, pretty close between 60 and 100 pounds when they're born. And they'll gain, they'll gain close to two pounds of weight every day. And they gain that weight mostly from drinking their mother's milk. So we, we run Angus cattle. So we run black Angus and red Angus cows. And we have a couple Hereford bulls. So these calves down there that you see that have the white faces, they get that trait from the Hereford bull. And uh, so these Angus cows that we have, from the research that I, I did, I was able, they, they say that those Angus cows will produce about a gallon and a half of milk per day and that's where that calf's getting all its energy from is from that milk and I was trying to find some information about how much a calf will drink every day in milk and I couldn't really find an exact number but I saw a lot of a lot of, a lot of guidelines for if you had to bottle feed a calf and they're saying if you have to bottle feed a calf you should give that calf about 10 percent of its newborn weight in milk every day so if you had a a calf when it was born and it weighed about 80 pounds you'll need to give that calf close to eight pounds of milk every day which would be right right under a gallon is what that calf would need and so just going off that those numbers you can probably assume that's probably about what them calves are drinking when, when they're with their moms you know so you could probably say they these calves probably drink about a gallon to a gallon and a half of milk every day and uh interesting thing about that is so the angus cows that we have like i said they'll, they'll produce about a gallon and a half of milk compared to a dairy cow. So a dairy cow will produce close to six to 10 gallons of milk every day. And that's, you know, that's what dairy cows are bred to do is produce milk. And these Angus cows, they were bred to, um, you know, have babies and be, that, that are raised for, raised for beef. And one of the good characteristics about these Angus cows and beef cows in general is that they're very motherly and very protective of their calves. And that's a trait you want in, in beef cows because for the most part, beef cows are out on the open range, you know, foraging, eating grass, and it's the mom's responsibility to take care of that calf in case there's a predator or something that comes along. And, you know, dairy cows, they're, they're mostly in a barnyard around the farmer all the time, and, you know, they don't really have that, that you know, that uh, opposition that they have to face for the most part. And so going on, uh, so yeah, these cows will gain close to two pounds um, of weight every day from the mom's milk, and these yearling those yearling steers down there that I was comparing them to, I bet they probably weigh close to 900 pounds, you know, plus or minus about 100 pounds. And uh, the the weight that we need to get our, our our calves to, so they're ready to slaughter, is between right around 1,200 pounds. And that's a good slaughter weight for these steers and these uh, the heifers that we keep that we slaughter. And it'll take us between 18 and 24 months to get these calves to that size. And that time, that, that, that depends on what you're feeding them. So once these calves are weaned off their moms, 
they'll go to pretty much a, a straight grass and alfalfa diet. And you can supplement that with grain. And if you supp supplement that with grain, you know, they'll get to this weight a lot quicker than if they just eat straight grass and alfalfa their whole lives. And uh, so if you're giving them grain, it'll be closer to that 18 months that they'll get to this, this butcher weight. If they're just straight grass, they'll be, you know, close to that 24, two years until they get to that target weight there. Um, so yeah, that's kind of a general overview on weights and what these calves have to like to look forward to in their lives and, and gaining weight and um, the process that that it takes and about the time the time period that it takes us to get these newborn calves to a weight where we can slaughter them. So from the time these calves are born until the time they're ready to slaughter it can be anywhere between 18 months and, and two years. So if you factor in the time then that cow's pregnant, so that cow will be pregnant for close to, to nine months. And uh, so you factor that in and you know, you're almost three years from the time of pregnancy to the butcher. So that's a pretty good time spread there just to get, you know, your beef on your table. So anyway, I hope you got a little bit out of this and it gave you a good idea on, on weights and how these calves will grow through their life. And um, we'll talk to you guys later. Prime the grass than these grain-fed ones, but those grain-fed ones, you know, they'll, they'll. Um, damn it! Just like myself. Damn it! Not with our calves, so it's it's um, and those those cows that we have will produce. Damn it! Hello everyone. I hope you... <laughs> Lindsay, I can't do this.